willingness to, to bring to light the fact that uh, logging really is a lifeline uh, of BC. It brings so much revenue into a provincial coffers. It pays for things like roads and health care, schools, all those kinds of things. And it's just, it's really vital to our BC economy. The strike gave us a glimpse of what our community could look like. Uh, it would mean a drastic cut for us. Um, if you think of it this way, there's a patch of land and, and it's sustainable to be logged. And if you take it down to this area, that's not going to be sustainable anymore. So there has to be a mix of old growth and second growth. And we're not quite there with the abundance of old a second growth that we need in order to, to remain sustainable. A lot of our second growth gets mistaken for old growth. And the other thing that we really need is a definition of what old growth is. In higher elevations, it doesn't look the same as cathedral grove. And so we really need that definition so that people, you know, we know exactly what kind of trees we're talking about. And we need to make sure that uh, everybody gets this message. And I'll do one last uh, video of everybody here before I sign off. In all seriousness, I'm proud to be here. It's taken me a few years to realize how important the overall forest industry is to the fabric of British Columbia. I think about my uncles who were brave enough to leave the reserve, who were actually smart enough to leave the reserve to look for better opportunity for their family, and they found that in the forest industry. I wrote a really nice speech that was gonna tell you why Claire Trevina is to blame for all of our problems. <laughs> it was gonna include why people like Torrance Cost from the Wilderness Committee are part of our problems. Mark from Sierra Club, why they're part of our problems. But I'm here to admit that I'm part of this problem. Our leadership is part of this problem. For too long, we've stood in places and talked about the problems in our industries and not about what's right. In the North Coast and the Chaco region, it means 19% of their jobs. In the Northeast region, it means one in five jobs. For the Caribou, it's 22% of their jobs. To the Thompson Okanagan region, it's more than 20,000 jobs. In the Kootenai region, 10% of the jobs. To Vancouver Island and the coast, it's 21,000 jobs. And in the mainland, yes. In the mainland and southwest region, it's 40% of the province's total forest industry jobs and 45% of the industry's total contribution to the GDP. But on behalf of the City of Campbell River and all the members of council and all the communities in the North Island, you guys feed our families. Thank you. I would be happy to receive that petition and I would be happy to present it on your behalf in the legislature, so thank you very much.